what's up guys welcome to another video and today 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 we're gonna be working on the clutch pedal so let's get to that it's really dark in here but i'll make i'll do the best i can to make it work for you guys but for the clutch pedal um other than the cover itself is wearing out which i gotta replace but the clutch pedal itself i never really liked this feeling it's it feels weird and wobbly as well I've heard about the uh, a new clutch pedal that can make things a lot more engaging and better and um, make you feel more confident. Also, another issue I had with this, this may or may not fix the issue, but I'm open to it, where there's a lot of travel with this. And a lot of guys will mention that they put in like those little bump stops things. Um, that might work, but for this case, there's already one installed and um, it's still a lot of play. A lot of play is all the way out and high up. Um, another thing that I know, another thing I noticed about this clutch pedal is that it's actually higher than the brake pedal. So the brake pedal is right here, and if I go straight across, it's kind of under this clutch pedal. So uh, the new pedal should have it more aligned. So that also will be interesting. Um, I'm just, I'm really curious of how this might work and how this turned out. But anyways. Before I go ahead and talk a whole storm about it, let's get down to it. So before we start, I just want to say thank you so much for your support, guys. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Anyways, let's get down to it. So you have some torques here. One, two, and three. So you need to remove those, all three of them. Um, so it is T20. T20. Um, yeah, it's going to be a T20 to remove all three of those. Go ahead and pull this down gently. So this is the clutch pedal I mentioned, and um, it is super tight in there. So my best bet is that I have to get rid of it, take it out first, and then explain my way through. Um, like I said, it's not really that hard but there's a sequence you gotta to take this off so for at least what you can see now there's a spring right here i gotta take that off disconnect that and then there's like a light duty spring i'm gonna see my finger oh it's blocking it that spring right here also got to remove that. This was light duty, so you don't have a big, big deal. Just get like a little pick uh, or something like the hook and just remove it. And then obviously the one for the slave cylinder, that has to be removed. And then last but not least, the last one all the way up top for the pedal. So like I said, it is really tight up there. So I'm not able to really show you a lot of footage, but once I get it out, I can explain and then hopefully that will be help, helpful for you guys. All right, so. We finally got it out and it's on the table so I can show it to you with more space and light. So hopefully this will help. So the first thing I did, um, I went ahead and get the spring off. So the spring will be here. See, so I just use a hook, pry this down a little bit, and it comes right out, right? So that's basically it. Um, the other end is on top, but you can take that off if you want. I only took it, only took it off just to show you guys how to remove this. Cool. The next one would be here. Um, so this pin keeps this spring in place that connects to uh, not the slave cylinder, but this is just to the to the body of the car, I guess. It have this lock pin that keeps it together. To get this off, there's gonna be like a I forgot the right part. I'll leave it leave the name on the bottom just because I don't remember right now. But it locks this in place. So there's like a little gap in here. It locks it in place so it doesn't come out. So once you remove that, you could just slide this pin right off. And this will come off. This will, will, well, not really easily, but this will be loose enough for you to remove. So before you're able to take this off, the last part you got to get is this um, plastic pin right here. This, this, this plastic um, lock. This was actually a pain in the ass. I'm assuming you need like a special tool for this. So this is actually very interesting the, the way i got it off you have to use well there's no i don't have a special specialized tool so what i'd use is a quarter inch 
extension and I kind of get in between here and press down and you got to press down as hard as you can hard as you can until these these ends right here squeeze squeeze in just enough to slide out when I say it's hard this is a hard plastic so it's a pain in the ass so I'll put it back on hopefully this will help so I'll put it back on it goes all the way in and it locks right so I use the extension there was little to no room so I had to use like a vice grip just to give me leverage while I pry it down so I just push down as hard as I can and you hear like a snap sound it goes in right as you can see right there and then because this end is no longer um, small enough to get through that small hole I just flip the sucker and kind of like bang it or even press it down as hard as you can but I kind of bang because I had a little bit more room so I just bang it until it pops right out so that's how I got that one on that one was kind of hard and admittedly admittedly I also used some little bit of WD-40 just to help me a little bit because I don't know how long this was there and how difficult it could be so finally got that off the last one is um, the last one it was the last one is, is uh, this clip right here it's going to be on the left side of the uh, clutch and you have to pry it out so it's not really that hard just get a pin and kind of like get in between right here and just pull it downwards or oh, it's actually this side hold on let's make sure I'm not bugging yep I th most likely it was here and just kind of like remove it once you remove it there's going to be a slide pin that goes all the way across so you just have to like lift this up to disconnect the spring right here and then you kind of have to just wiggle 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 all the way through to make it a little easier i took this off so i was able to take this bushing off right here oh, had to use a screwdriver and to remove it but i could got this bushing off now it was there you go i got this off and i kind of just wiggle 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 until it pops right out so this is that's basically how i got it off again guys um, I wish I could show it to you in real time, but I'm telling you guys, it is very difficult to remove under the car while recording. So between the two pedals, if you go side by side, you can tell the stock one is a lot is uh is longer than the uh, the original one. You can also tell that for this um, this point where it's connected to the spring, there are three settings on the uh, aftermarket, both the stock. And the aftermarket one actually weighs roughly the same. The fact that this is all metal and this is plastic, it's kind of interesting how light this is as well. So that is actually pretty cool. The shape of the aftermarket pedal um, is it's kind of like straightforward, I guess. There's no extra curves. It's just one and two points of, of, of uh, curves. So there's like one here and one down here. So it goes straight down. Um, this is where I was mentioning that this pedal will actually sit lower than the stock one. So it probably sit as low, like in the same level as the, uh, the brake pedal. So the way I want to put it on is first, obviously slide this in to the pin, slide across, and then I'm going to have this lock pin to lock into, lock it in place to keep it in place. The next step, what I'll do is obviously... Uh, put the slave cylinder put that sucker back in Actually, no, I'll do the spring first. So I'll probably put the spring in first Make sure that's in place and then I'll get the uh, slave cylinder in here With this bolt to keep it in place and then I tighten everything up I'll put the light duty spring on here con and connect it back and um that should be it after that we'll test it out all right so got the pedal on um I used to think this is easy but it's not as easy as i thought um i would say difficulty is like maybe three and a half out of five um it takes a lot of patience mainly because there's little to no room i the first thing i did is put the pedal back in it's like a sliding pin so you put that on first and then you have that little clip that I mentioned, you put that in place. Second thing I, I did is I went ahead and connect the spring back here into which um, hole I would like it to be. So it's all, way, it's all the way to the end. So it's in the softest setting. I went ahead and get the last piece 
which let me see if I can at least show to you. I don't know if you can see it, but that one right there, put the bolt through and have the nut on the other side behind the spring. And that will be a size 17, I believe. And you tighten that up with the Allen and then zoom in size 10 on this bolt with uh, Allen bolt. No, size 10 on the nut and uh, obviously the Allen bolt on the other side. You set that up and you tighten that up. And um, the last but not least is the spring, which is right there. You put that on and, and that's it. There's a dead stop right here. So this one actually came with the car. So someone already in, uh, had it in mind dealing with the whole dead pedal situation. So he already had one there. So I'm going to leave that out. But if you don't, you want to have the one that's given to you with the package, with the whole set for the ultimate clutch pedal. You want to go ahead and put it in there. Um, and then when you're done, just go ahead and test it out. Just to make sure if it works well. You want to push the clutch all the way in. See makes contact and also to go ahead and test to see if you can start the car if it's too far up then the uh the switch by the clutch pedal won't really activate for it to allow the car to start because you need to have the clutch pedal down to start the car and that's pretty much it guys um i'm just gonna go ahead and put the cover back put everything nice and neat um, the next video, I will have my honest review on this car, on this clutch pedal. My experience, is it worth the money? Is it worth the time to go through all this just to have it? Um, just forgot to mention, there's no play on this. So that's even, that's awesome. So that's going to be a different feeling. But anyways, I'll leave that for the next video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh.